This website makes $140,000 every single month and I'm about to show you exactly how to copy it in 15 minutes. This is thesaurus.com. 14 million people visit this site every month and with a $10 RPM, they're pulling in over $140,000 in completely passive income just from Google AdSense. No products to sell, no customer service, just pure passive cash flow. Now, here's what's crazy. I have zero coding knowledge, zero web development experience, but I just discovered this AI tool that can build this entire technical infrastructure for us. We're talking about recreating those same money-making features, connecting Google AdSense for that passive income stream, and even adding Stripe for premium features. So in the next 15 minutes, you're going to watch me build a $10,000 one-page website from scratch using nothing but AI and no-code tools. By the end of this video, you'll have the exact blueprint to create your own passive income machine even if you've never written a single line of code in your entire life. So if you're interested, let's dive right in. The AI tool that we are going to use is Replit. And with my code CC, you will get a 10% discount and full access to the Replit agent. I added that link in the description down below. Prompt 1. Core search and results. Every app needs a defining feature. The thing that makes it worth opening in the first place. People don't want to scroll through endless walls of text or sift through half-relevant suggestions. They want the right word in the right context almost instantly. That's exactly what this build is aiming for. A search experience that feels effortless while delivering results that are both accurate and easy to digest. That's why I'm starting with this instruction to Replit. Build a website called Thesaurus App in Replit. Add a search bar where users can type any word to find synonyms and antonyms. Organize results into strongest matches, strong matches, and weak matches. Display results by part of speech, noun, verb, adjective, etc., and group synonyms by different meanings or context of the word. Include a list of related words and phrases for each search. So this is the heart of the app. Type in any word and you immediately get a clean, organized breakdown of synonyms and antonyms. Matches are grouped by strength, from the closest possible fit to weaker connections, and each set is sorted by part of speech so it's easy to find the form you need. Within those sections, results are also arranged by meaning or context, making it simple to pick the right one for the situation. However, if a search unexpectedly returns no results for a common word, it's easy to troubleshoot. We can follow up with why are there no results or upload a screenshot which usually helps Replit to identify and fix connections or set up issues right away. Now, what we have here is a core search system that feels fast, accurate, and intelligently organized. Exactly what you'd expect from a thesaurus built for real-world writing. Prompt 2. Content Enhancement The core search is already in place and working reliably, so it's time to go beyond just finding words. A good thesaurus doesn't just list alternatives. It gives you the tools to understand them, hear them, and use them confidently. What I want to happen is to turn the app from a simple word lookup tool into a richer learning resource that helps people understand and apply new vocabulary. I'll ask Replit to make it happen. For every searched word, show example sentences using real-world news or publications, a brief word origin or etymology section, and a pronunciation guide with both audio playback and phonetic spelling. With this update, each search result now comes with practical, real-world context. Example sentences sourced from news articles, 
books, and other publications shows exactly how the word works in different situations. A concise etymology section follows, tracing the word's origin and how its meaning has evolved over time. Aside from those, a pronunciation panel and a clear phonetic spelling are also both included. So users can hear and see how the word is pronounced before using it themselves. The experience is now more complete. Users are not just going to find the alternate words here, but they will be learning their history, seeing them in action, and hearing exactly how they should sound. Prompt 3 daily engagement and interactive features. The app is already far more useful than a standard thesaurus given the learning tools we added. But usefulness alone doesn't guarantee people will come back every day. Daily habits form when there's always something fresh to check out, so the homepage needs more than search results. It should feel like a mini vocabulary playground. This is what we're going to ask Replit next. Add a word of the day section on the homepage, including its definition and example sentence. Include a newsletter signup form for users to get daily or weekly vocabulary by email. Add a trending words list showing popular current searches and include interactive word games for vocabulary building at least 5 to 10 simple games to start. The new homepage layout instantly looks more dynamic and these features will definitely encourage people to return every single day. The homepage now showcases a word of the day with a clear definition and usage example, a newsletter form for daily or weekly vocabulary, and a trending word section that reflects popular searches in real time. A game section offers quick activities with room to expand or improve based on user feedback. It's a mix of learning, interaction, and discovery that keeps the app feeling active and worth visiting again tomorrow. Our app is now a living space where users will keep returning to see what's new, what's trending, and how they can test themselves against the language. Prompt 4 editorial and special content. Now, most people open a thesaurus when they need a quick answer, but the real opportunity is giving them a reason to stick around after they find it. That means offering content they can explore, learn from, and look forward to week after week. So here's what I'm telling Replit to build. Create a section for weekly language content such as This Week in Words, educational articles on language learning and etymology, and special themed features for anniversaries or holidays. With fresh articles arriving every week, visitors have a reason to stay longer and return often. A weekly update like This Week in Words can spotlight language news and trends, while short educational articles dive into topics like learning tips or word origins. Special themed lists tied to holidays or anniversaries add variety, giving users something new and timely to explore each week. This transforms the thesaurus from a quick look at tool into an ongoing destination for language lovers. Prompt 5 Stripe Premium Membership After building out regular editorial features that keep people coming back, I want to offer an enhanced experience for those who want even more and are willing to support the site to get it. Some users just want a cleaner experience and a few perks for supporting the project. No ads, early access to fresh content, maybe a couple of bonus games, and Stripe makes that upgrade path simple to set up while we're still building. So so I'm going to give Replit this instruction to wire that in. Integrate Stripe payments to offer premium features and use Stripe Test Checkout. After that, the Upgrade button takes users to Stripe's Test Checkout, and a successful payment flips on premium immediately. Ads disappear, early access content becomes available where enabled, and bonus games unlock if we've turned that feature on. To make that status unmistakable, I follow up with, there should be a clear indicator of premium. Add a premium badge after a successful payment. The UI updates to show a small premium badge near the header or profile area so users can tell at a glance that their upgrade worked. Once the payment system is in place, the rest is now effortless. Once a payment goes through, a visible premium badge appears to confirm the upgrade instantly. Prompt 6 
Google AdSense integration. Offering a premium tier is one way to monetize, but it's not the only path. To keep the site sustainable while still giving free users full access, the next step is to integrate ads in a way that blends naturally with the design. Ads are one of the simplest ways to bring in steady income. And when they're placed in the right spots, they can do their job without getting in the way of the experience. All right, for this step, I'm going to ask Replit, add Google AdSense ad banners to the site in prominent locations such as top, sidebar, and between content. Make the website ready for AdSense setup by allowing easily adding the AdSense meta tag or code snippet as required for verification and ad display. Once the update runs, the layout gains three fixed ad containers, a wide banner at the very top, in the sidebar and in between content sections. Until the real AdSense code is added, these spots will display simple placeholders, giving a clear visual of where the ads will appear. For verification, the site is prepared to accept the standard account tag in the head section of every page. After Google approves the site, the owner can replace the placeholder with a live ad script, and the banners will display automatically in all three locations. Okay, now we've gone from a blank canvas to a fully built, revenue-ready thesaurus platform complete with powerful search, rich for data, daily engagement features, editorial content, premium upgrades, and a streamlined ad system. Everything is in place for this site to attract visitors, keep them engaged, and generate income without needing constant hands-on management. So if you're ready to build your own version, grab the prompts, follow the steps, and put it live. The sooner you start, the sooner it can start working for you. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.